hello again. Um, it's time for my 20 things. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this short. So, um, if you have any questions, you can message me because I probably won't remember if you respond in a video. But you can respond in a video. Just remind me in a message and I'll get back. Anyway, I'm gonna start. And these are just in order that I thought of them, not anything. So, kind of obvious, and this was before I did it, sort of, uh, I put Meet Sutton Foster, but I think that has transformed into, like, I don't know, like, I want to get to know her, I want to be her friend, sort of, which, I don't know, that might be weird, um, like, have a meal with her, that sparks conversation, that'd be cool, you know? Um, I want to skydive, and a friend of mine has actually tentatively offered to take me over our next spring break, so that would be really cool. Um, I also want to fall in love, uh, because I've never experienced that. I've, you know, had crushes before, but like, I don't know. I, I have very strong opinions about love. And I think it'd be interesting to feel it. Um, I want to go to Disneyland or Disney World, because I've never been. Um, I want to read the entire Bible. Uh, I'm working on that. Uh, I got like a daily reading Bible because my friend works at a Christian store and they were having a sale for New Year's. I was like, sure! And then I fell behind. I'm like a month behind right now. It's pretty bad. But, um... It'll happen. Um, okay, this next one. Uh, on Broadway.com, they have this segment called Ask a Star. And what it is, is they take a Broadway star and they just, like, they let people submit questions and then they answer them. And it's fun to watch. They're like 10 minute long videos. But one lady, Alice Ripley, uh, asked her question asker in the video. She's like, have you ever sobbed on the streets of New York City? It's great. It's the best place to do it. And I just thought that was so odd. But then the more I thought about it, it's like, huh. I don't know. Like, in, in New York City, or really in any city, like Chicago or anything, you would be surrounded by people. And I just, I, like, the more I think about it, the more I think that sounds so interesting. So, you know, I never liked crying very hard or like, like I don't like being sad but how interesting would that be to sob on the streets of New York City so I think that'd be really cool um I want to go dog sledding because I like dogs and I like snow a lot and so it's like two favorite things I I want to meet you guys in person and that's gonna happen because I will make it happen and, um, I don't know, that, that might sound kind of really, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it will happen because I'm only two states away from you guys, Anna and Meg, and Joe, it's going to happen. You're either going to come here or I'm going to come stay in your awesome house. It's, it's just, it's fact, come on. So, yeah. I'd really like to meet you guys. That'd be cool. Um, this, honestly, it was on my list before I did it. I said, eat at Sardi's. And it still is on here because I had dessert at Sardi's. It was like a $9 scoop of ice cream. But I want to, like, have a meal at Sardi's. That'd be really cool. It'd be crazy expensive. So maybe once I have a successful career, that'd be cool. Um, and I want to work at the Bowery Mission, and that's going to be the next installment where you guys get to hear about the NICA. And, um, so that's, uh, that's what I did this past spring break where we, like, went and helped the homeless, and that's the place where we helped them, and it's just the most magical place in the world. So I want to work there, like, as a full-time volunteer for at least a while. And one of the guys I met there, his name was Jose, and whenever he graduates from the program they have there, he wants to open up an orphanage 
in New York City because he said if you look around you really don't see any and he would love to give a home to the kids who don't have one or don't feel like they can go home and he's just such a loving guy and so the next thing on my list is to either adopt from his orphanage or just like donate to his orphanage go visit there um because he'll make it happen I know it <coughs> and I've, I've had this long struggle like oh do I want kids in the future do I want a career do I want both you know all that stuff but if I do decide that I want kids I think it'd be really cool to adopt from his orphanage just it'd be cool so I'm like I knew this guy I know him uh okay now we get into some more silly stuff um I want to pie someone in the face I want to take a pie and go like this yeah <laughs> and that's that's always been an aspiration of mine um also okay also on broadway.com I spend much too much time there way too much time uh there's a segment called Side by Side with Susan Blackwell. And Susan Blackwell is one of the most awkward, hilarious person, like, people you'll ever find. And so she'll do interviews with, um, with these Broadway performers. <laughs> she's just so awkward. So, like, she'll be doing an interview, and then she'll just, like, it, it it's inevitable. It always happens. She'll lick their face, like, full, like, lick up the side of their face. It's hilarious. Sutton hates it. She's done it like twice to Sutton. She's like, it's happening. And then some, uh, Zachary Quinto, he was on Heroes, but he was on Broadway too. Um, <laughs> he wrote her a letter before the interview. He's like, please don't like me. And then she brought it up in their interview and it just made it more awkward. It's like, I love you, Susan Blackwell. So anyway, since I think that's awkward and hilarious, I want to Susan Blackwell someone. It would be really funny. Um, <laughs> that's really weird. Sorry. Um, I want to, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of these are New York related. Is that weird? Uh, I, I want to own a cast recording, like, like a CD for every letter in the alphabet. And I think I just got, oh, taking care of the odd potato. The Hanukkah story for everybody. <laughs> I haven't listened to it yet, but it was like a benefit thing. But anyway, there's O. And, um, yeah, I think that would be cool to have something of every, uh, every letter. And I don't think I'm too far away, which is sad. <clears throat> uh, okay, a little more deep stuff. I have this really irrational stage fright, and I don't understand it because I'm not really a shy person, but you, like, put a microphone in my hands or, like, ask me to speak about something, like, from my own heart. Like, not research or, you know, like, I'm, I'm okay at giving presentations now. But, you asked me to speak my own words, and I just, I just break out. I have this breakdown. Like, I shake all over, I sweat all over, um, I bawl my eyes out. It's really embarrassing, and then I, like, I hate it. So, I want to be able to speak without crying, and I don't really plan to, like, speak in front of people in the future, but I'd really like to be able to do it without breaking down. Because the last time I had to do it, it took me 30 minutes to stop shaking. And that's just sad, because I knew everybody that I was speaking in front of. It wasn't even like a shy, like, oh, what will they think? It's like, these people know me, and I hate it. So that's something that I want to do, is get over that. And going along with that, I want to be able to speak my mind when it matters. Because I'm terrible in arguments or confrontations. Yeah, both of those. I was going to say particularly this, but no, both. Um, 
Like, I can plan out what I'm going to say to you that might offend you or whatever. And this is, like, in person. And, um... Or, you know, just expressing, like, my personal belief in something. And, uh... But, like, if you were to say anything back, I would have nothing to defend myself. I'm so terrible with words. So, I want to be able to speak my mind when it matters. And be able to get my point across. Um, okay. Now I get into a little more goofy stuff again. Um, I want to be- I want to blast music from a rooftop. That'd be cool. I don't know what song, or what- it would probably be some, like, crazy off-the-wall show tune. Just because. But from a rooftop? Oh yeah. Um, I want to go to the Tony Awards. You know, like, you guys know I want to work on Broadway, like, behind the scenes. I don't care if I'm nominated or, like, whatever. I just want to go, like, be an audience member. So cool. Because I watch them every year because I'm a dwarf like that. Um, also, I want to go on a, on a road trip. Like, just hop in the car and drive with, like, a couple of my best friends. And see where we end up. Cause, I don't know, sounds like fun. And the last thing, number 20, is I want to try every type of cheese. Because I love cheese. And I have to have it every day. The other day, actually yesterday, before I got kicked out of the dining hall, I um, went up to the deli and the lady was like, oh, I know this one. Monster Provolone 2 American on a white six inch sub. <laughs> And then Vince makes my cheese omelet every morning. Yeah, basically I'm I'm known as the cheese girl back home and it's starting to sink in here too. So I want to try every type of cheese. And yay, I managed to keep this under 13 minutes. And that was all of my 20 things. You can pause it and read it if you like. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I am just glad I got those done because now I can focus on my on my fun weekend and my paper which isn't so fun but my weekend yay so yeah I will see you guys later I hope you have fantastic days and weekends and that everything is bright and sunny particularly sunny in Germany for, for you all goodbye